The Oscars just happened and you went to some Oscar parties? I did. Now, you didn't come out your backyard for that, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big to-do. I mean, it's an amazing thing, you know, yeah. that this is, uh, this is the community that I'm in and you go to these parties and they are a lot, their work, as well as just getting gussied up and looking pretty. But yes. uh, I went to Madonna Throws an Amazing Party Ooh, every yes, year yes. and I've got to say, it was, it was really spectacular. Nice. But the cool thing is, it, I don't know, I've been around a long time. Mm -hmm. You run into people that you love and people that you know. And mm -hmm. I've, I've known Dave Grohl a long, 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 long time, wow. long time. And I saw him across the way and he was surrounded by a bunch of guys. And I was like, okay, well, I just got to go bust up the bro fest and say hi. <laughs> so I went over and I hugged him and I looked around and it was literally Axl Rose and Lars Ulrich from Metallica. Oh, and man. it was a full rock and roll bro fest that had, that had broke up. But. That sounded like the party of all parties, though. It was, it was pretty amazing. Madonna had this amazing... She was on vocal rest, and she mm -hmm. had this amazing sign around her neck. No, she did. Yeah, it just said, I'm on vocal rest. <laughs> you, look, you look amazing. Like, that's what it said. And she was at her own party. It was super cool. Uh, yeah. yeah I amazing. only went, I think, once years ago. Do you go, like, every year? or? I do, because I've, I've got to... Like, like I said, I've been... I've known Guy Siri, who mm -hmm. is Madonna's manager for many, many, many years, and they have a company together. And, you know, I think my mom always told me if you write a thank you letter, mm -hmm. you will get invited back. And I have written a thank you note to pretty much every party I've ever been to, like in this town. And I think that's why I get invited back. I'd imagine so. Okay, do you remember the first time you went to the Oscars? Because you were nominated then, right? Yeah, yeah. The first time I went was when I was nominated. Oh, look, there I am. Oh. Crikey. Um, I was so, so terrified right. and I think the, the, it, it's, it is like, it's like, it reminds me of, you remember the movie Gladiator? Uh -huh. You know when he walks into the Colosseum and it's like the noise and the sound and the light and the everything? It could be overwhelming. I mean, crazy overwhelming. Like the most exciting, most amazing moment, but super, super overwhelming mm -hmm. as well. And I remember I was hanging on to my mum and dad who came with me and my sister. Um, and just trying to breathe, but yeah, I, I, it went by in a blur, I've got to say. I totally understand it. Now, your dress, I heard like your dress was, oh, yeah, what that, happened with that the dress moment. thing? Oh my gosh, that's my mum in the background. Is it your mother in the background? Oh my God. She, you know what's crazy is, it's the anniversary of her passing. Oh. And I know I'm so happy to see that she's here on the show with me. What, that means she's this come is the to most see you. <laughs> I love moments like that. You need oh some God, I understand. Like, I understand. Oh my goodness, that's gonna get me. Oh my she God. She loved, and that moment, honestly, I was heartbroken and I was scared and I'd lost too much weight before I went on this, to the Oscars. The dress fell off. And in that moment, I had this like, this wrap uh -huh. and I just pulled the wrap around me and kind of carried on smiling. And my mom knew what would happen, and she was smiling too. And, but she was literally going, don't drop your shawl. Don't drop oh, it. Don't oh. drop it. So, oh my gosh. It made a lot of headlines when you commented on a clip of Matt Damon winning oh, yeah. the Oscar that night. Did you expect it to get the response? No. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> my little face. I mean, listen. I, I, first of all, I want to wrap my arms around that young woman too. and hug her and go it's all gonna be fine honey like yes. don't worry we'd recently broken up i was you know nominated he was nominated the movie was so amazing he had a new girlfriend i, I was totally heartbroken um but i think it's like anyone who's been heartbroken can understand mm. it's like the last thing you want is everybody having a window in on that and it right. was so public so when i commented like it was just, I saw the clip, I hadn't seen the clip. I don't know that I'd ever seen it. I'd never seen my face. The reaction when they won, and they cut to me, because it was a camera right in the face of the poor, young, 25-year-old girl who's about to burst into tears. And it was so raw and, like, vulnerable that I commented, going, gosh, I wish I could have... Wish I, what did I say? I was devastated. Wish I could have celebrated more as it was such an amazing moment, which right. it was. And yeah. you, from this vantage point, you know, 2020 vision, much later in my life. Right. I, I wish I could have told her, honey, it's cool, like you can celebrate and it, life's gonna be great and beautiful and hard and amazing and you're gonna love again, it'll be fine. Right. Um. <laughs>
I'm sure you just helped so many others with what listen, you just said. Listen, speaking to your younger self. It's, if you can, you know, our, our heartbreak is private. And then if you're like, if you're an actress, it can be very public. Yeah. So maybe just us all relating to each other a bit more as humans, humans. And that we just, we have these similar experiences through different lenses. Yeah. Perhaps we, you know, we can treat each other all a bit more kindly. <laughs> You said it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that so much. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.